I really shouldn't have put it there because I have this huge spot. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys already know, my channel is all about makeup and everything beauty. So today I'm showing you how to create that Kim Kardashian makeup look. Not how to look like Kim Kardashian. We just wanna know how to create that really nice makeup look that she has, that bronzed skin and that lit from within glow. So we're gonna go straight into that. And what I love about this whole tutorial is that you guys can take away whatever bits that you like and incorporate it into your usual makeup routine. You don't have to do the whole look. If you just like the kind of contouring part, you can incorporate that into your look. So just take the bits that you like or do the whole thing. Whatever you wanna do, it's up to you, but I know you guys are gonna love this tutorial. So before we get into the video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button because it helps me out with the algorithm. But more importantly, it shows me that you guys wanna see more of my videos. Now you can also catch me on Instagram where you can follow me for daily beauty news and PR unboxing, which you'll find on my stories. And let's jump straight into the video now. Okay, so again, no makeup on my face and the start to any good look is a good base. So I'm gonna go in with my skincare because with this type of look, I feel like I need my skin to be extra hydrated because there's gonna be a lot of kind of setting. So I'm just using my Sunday Riley Good Jeans because that's just something I always put on before my moisturizer. I have come up with the most humongous spot here and it's like, it feels like it's taken over my face. It's so big, but it really is painful. Okay, so we're gonna just let that kind of sink in to the skin. And then we're gonna go in with the moisturizer. Um, I was thinking of doing the kind of, the look that Kim Kardashian does with the center part and straight bob. Um, but then I thought, you know what? You can see the makeup better. It's just gonna be much easier for you guys to kind of see everything because sometimes the hair gets in the way. So I thought I'll do the center part slick back look, which she has done many times. So now I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and I'm just gonna take a small amount of that. I don't really need that much moisturizer when I put that Sunday Riley Good Jeans on because it's quite moisturizing anyway but I still like to put it on. So when you wanna do makeup like Kim Kardashian, if you look at a lot of her photos, you can tell that she loves that brightness on the under eye area, a little bit on the chin, nose and forehead. All of those key features are very bright. And then she's got the perimeter of the face, which has been kind of like warmed up. So I'm gonna do the base first and I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm literally just gonna apply this onto my lids like I usually do. And just buff this in. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Suede because I absolutely love this color for just shaping the eye area. So I haven't actually set the concealer on my eye yet because I want that really nice sculpted look like Kim Kardashian has. So I'm gonna go in with a, let's see, I'll go in with this brush. It's just like a dome shaped brush. It's the Zoeva 231. And all I'm doing is I'm literally just gonna kind of buff just swirl the brush around into the stick. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go into my socket, but I'm not going into the inner corner. So I'm just gonna take this right here and all I'm doing is just kind of contouring the eye. We can take some more product whenever we need it. And this gives a really nice soft shape to the eye without having to use so much eyeshadow. Now what I'm doing is instead of taking this down there, I'm taking it right here. And what that does is it opens up this whole area here. So just to go over it again with you, 
I am going into this socket area here. And if you have slightly hooded eyes, you can go a bit higher to create the socket. So I'm gonna just shape this here. So it's a very, like a mini semicircle there. Quite kind of flat. And then we're gonna go right here. So kind of underneath the brow, but leave a gap there between the brow and this. And we're gonna bring this into the nose a little bit. Cause this is gonna help to kind of connect to the no nose contour that we do which is gonna really help to elongate the nose. Okay, so I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder in Light Banana, and as usual, I'm going with my Powder Puff. But before I do that, I just wanna take my Mini Beauty Blender, and I'm just gonna kind of like absorb, can you see all these creases? I'm just gonna like make sure there are no creases here. That's the last thing I want there. Literally just patting it over, because what that does is it just kind of absorbs all that excess product. Okay, so that's done. I'm just gonna go in with my setting powder and go over the whole eye area. And then we're just gonna dust that off as usual with my Real Techniques the setting brush. So can you see how by doing that, by using that kind of darker shade in the crease, see how that's kind of like shaped that whole eye area? And it's just given us some kind of definition there, which means we don't have to go so heavy with eyeshadow. Now, like I said, she has a lot of kind of brightness on the under eyes, chin, nose, forehead. So we're gonna go in with a much lighter concealer. And I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium, which is 29N. And I'm literally just gonna start shaping where I'm gonna apply that didn't even make sense. Shaping where I'm gonna apply the concealer. I'm literally just drawing in where I am gonna, I want it. <laughs> Why am I not making sense? As you can see, I'm just putting the concealer on. So I'm just gonna create the shapes that I want for that kind of brightness. Now I really want that brightness to come through. So we are gonna go a bit heavier with the concealer. Now when you're when you want makeup like Kim Kardashian, you really need to focus on the kind of shapes and textures that you're using and that you're applying. The shapes that you're applying and the textures that you're using. I don't know what is wrong with my English today. So we're going pretty close into the bridge of the nose because we want that nose to be a lot more slimmer and elongated and this brightness is usually kind of like all the way across here on her. I mean, it doesn't mean that you do it exactly like this because the whole point is how to do makeup like Kim Kardashian. It doesn't mean that you want to end up looking like her. I don't want to look like her. I just want similar kind of makeup, which is what I want to show you. Now I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer because I don't want like full, full coverage but I do want that brightness. So this concealer isn't like overly heavy, but it does give me really nice kind of color. Now all I'm doing is just kind of applying it and I'm gonna smooth this out after. I'm gonna go in with a slightly brighter concealer. NARS concealer again, but it's in a lighter shade in Chantilly. And this is gonna go down. Okay, so we've got a lot of concealer going on there and we're gonna start blending that in now. So what I wanna do first is, I, I this is just a personal preference, I wanna smooth out some of the areas so that it just gives me, a, you know, it's not like streaky. Okay, I'm gonna blend in the under eye first. I'm gonna go in with my sponge. Now, you wanna really keep these shapes in the same shape. You don't want it to like, you know, start blending into other areas of the face.
Okay, so we've got the concealer on. You can see I look fairly white. And we're gonna go in with a darker concealer now and we're gonna start shading in the perimeter of the face and just shaping certain areas. And that's gonna give us more depth. And then we're gonna go over with a uh, very light foundation because we don't want a heavy foundation after all this concealer. Now I want a kind of really nice transition. So I'm gonna go with Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in suede again. And then I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker shade. So first off, I'm gonna start warming up this area here and Okay, I'm gonna start blending this in and I'm going into the hairline here. But I also wanna kinda of like bring it forward a little bit so that it blends into this concealer. There you go, that's given some really nice warmth. Now we're gonna do the cheekbone here. So we're kinda of keeping the shape the same, but I want the, those edges to be diffused. Okay, now we're gonna go down here Make sure this is nicely blended into the concealer, but we keep the shape the same. I'm just gonna show you one side first, because I want you to see the difference. Okay, so like you can see here, we've got a lot more kind of definition. It's all blended. This is still a little bit harsh, so we're gonna kind of smooth this in as well. Now we're gonna keep this shape the same. I'm just literally dragging this out a little bit on the sides of the bridge of the nose. I'm just gonna go in with a darker concealer just on some smaller areas here to add some more depth. That was the NARS Creamy Concealer, by the way. So I'm just gonna buff that, those little areas in and you'll see it just creates more of a, it creates more depth. So we've got that really nice warm shade and then you've got this darker one to just really help shape it a little bit more and give it more depth. I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation and I'm just gonna buff this in to my forehead and then work my way down. And I'm only using a very small amount because I still want this contour to come through. Now before I set my foundation, I'm gonna go in with some blush and I want to use a kind of, it's like a it's not really a cream so it's a still a putty blush so it's kind of like soft and bouncy i'm using the peach shade it's from bronzed gladiola and i'm literally just gonna press this in here up here because i've noticed that with kim kardashian she has her blush slightly higher and it's like kind of just above her contour and we can always add some more after if we want but I feel I, I feel like this will give a nicer kind of melted into the skin look let's go in with our makeup forever setting powder now you really want to make sure that when you're setting you're creating those same kind of highlighted shapes that you created right at the beginning and that basically makes sure that that brightness will kind of stay in all those areas. And I'm also gonna go onto the forehead here. So I'm just taking the excess powder and just buffing it into the skin. 
Now I'm gonna dust it away with my Makeup Forever 122 brush. And then do the under eyes with my Real Technique setting brush. I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever setting powder in Tan Neutral and I'm basically going to start warming up some of my face because this is a really nice tan shade. I just want to buff this in to warm up the perimeter of my face a bit more. Now with Kim Kardashian's makeup, she is always warmer around the hairline. And I personally really like that look. And this is also going to, just quickly, can you see how that blush still comes through? So um, yeah, so you don't really need to worry about much blush afterwards. So also I wanna take this just around here, which is where I want the cheekbones to be a little bit more enhanced. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna stick to like closer to the outside part of the face. I don't wanna bring it too far in. Now I'm gonna use my Zoeva 222 brush and just use this same powder to very lightly just sculpt my nose a bit. I don't want to take it too far out, but I also want to make sure it's connected to that sculpting that we did on the eye area. And because this isn't too dark, it won't look too obvious. I quite like the way that's all shaped now. So I'm gonna go over and do my eyebrows because they desperately need doing. So I'm gonna go in with my, I think I'm gonna go in with a powder today because she doesn't generally have, like she has strong brows, but that's because she naturally has a lot of hair there. So I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Brow Powder Palette. And I'm just gonna shape them lightly. I do want them a bit thicker. Oh, by the way, I was just using my 317 winged liner brush from Zoeva for that. I'm just gonna use my Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pen to just draw in some hairs. This is literally the best thing ever. So I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Palette and I'm using the shade Dirty Matte, no, Dirty Mars. I'm using my Huda Beauty Smoke and Smudge brush, but the thin, the smaller brush side. And all I'm gonna do is basically press in kind of like an eyeliner look. It's not, well, there's no kind of wing to it. I'm gonna take it out very slightly, but I want you to press it very close to the lash line. So I'm gonna start from the outer part of the eye because it's gonna be slightly thicker there. Don't take it past the end of the lash line. And then as you're going in, go thinner and thinner. You can see how we've got that nice shape there now. Now I'm gonna let that sit there for a bit. I'm gonna probably make it a slightly bit thicker. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. Now I'm gonna take my MAC 219 brush and there's nothing on this brush. All I'm doing is literally just kind of buffing it into the lash line so that it still has that kind of eyeliner look. So you can see we've got that definition. It doesn't look as harsh as the other side now, but it still has kind of defined the lash line. But you wanna make sure that the shape stays the same. So you're not changing the shape that you've already created. All you're doing is just buffing the edges. I'm just gonna take this out with the same MAC brush that I've been blending with. There's nothing extra on this brush. 
I don't want there it to be kind of like a full stop at the end of the lash line, but equally I don't want it to be like a really crazy wing. So I'm just kind of like almost buffing the end of the color upwards a little bit so that it kind of very naturally fades out. I'm going to take that same color underneath buff it into my lash line now don't take too much color underneath because you want it to look really natural like as in faded into the skin okay so I'm using the Pat McGrath bronze ambition palette and I'm using the shade throwing shade I really love this brown I just feel like it really complements kind of tanned skin and it's not overly dark so I'm taking off the excess of the on the back of my hand and now I'm going to just enhance the the socket line just where we kind of contoured at the beginning and take that in so that it kind of meets into the nose contour and this color don't take it all the way down into the crease but you if you've got enough space on the lid Kind of like take it out a little bit so that it kind of is flowing out but if you don't have enough space then just focus on that kind of center area i'm going to do the same on this side so i'm going to go in with my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder in medium and i'm going to use this on my eyes so i'm literally just i'm using by the way the brush i'm using is a two three four Zoeva brush. I use a lot of Zoeva brushes. I like the eye brushes. The face brushes are not, uh, I don't like them that much because the hairs fall out quite easily, but I do like the eye brushes. I'm just kind of going over this section as well to just diffuse it a bit so it all kind of blends in a bit. But I'm also kind of going over this lid bit to open it up a bit. You know, right here. All right, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of liquid liner just to the kind of inner corner to the lash line to make it a little bit, give it a bit more depth. I'm gonna use a brown though. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick in Super Brown. And I'm gonna apply this really close to my inner corner first. Keeping the line really thin taking it to the end of the lash line and no further. So all this is doing is actually helping to make sure when I put my lashes on, there's no gap. Okay, so I've just put some glue on my lashes, but before I put my lashes on, I'm gonna just apply some mascara and I'm gonna use the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And honestly, this look requires lashes so this is the first i think this is the first time i'm using this mascara it's pretty good but i'm just going to go in with a very small like small amount because we're putting lashes on okay so the glue's probably just the right kind of dryness now so i'm going to stick this on there you go let it sit in the middle you've probably seen me put my lashes on a million times now Okay, stick the outside corner in. So before I put my lashes on, you saw that I put a really thin line of brown eyeliner and that was mainly to make sure that there's no gap. You can't see any gap, which you can't see, between my lashes and my inner corner. But I'm going back in with it now. I'm gonna draw the line a little bit thicker because I feel like I want to see that kind of brown come through. I sometimes do this, sometimes I will put my eyeliner on, like I kind of split it, I do it really thin first so that I get the base right, put my lashes on and then I put my eyeliner on. Not always, but sometimes. And I feel like if you're gonna use brown eyeliner, then this work, this technique works really well because you get just the right amount of it coming out. I don't know if you've ever put lashes on before after putting eyeliner on and then your eyeliner looks jagged or it looks like it's kind of just not as smooth as it was when you first put it on. It's because your lash is sitting 
on it's not necessarily even so what happens it can pinch the skin a little bit which means that it ends up making your eyeliner look jagged so let's go in i'm going to just go over like this i'm going to keep it fairly thin thin oh my god what is wrong with my english fairly thin and then make it slightly thicker here and then the wing is going to be really subtle. Okay, so we've got that really nice wing here. So you can see how that lifts it all of a sudden. So we've got that really nice kind of brown defined lash line. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I'm using the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara just because I really like this on the lower lashes. And I'm just gonna really thicken up the lower lashes. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the MAC pencil in NW25 NC30. This is a studio chromographic pencil and I'm going to use this on my waterline. So I've noticed that she has a much brighter waterline. So but I'm only going to apply a very small amount. I don't want it to look overly uh, bright. And that's why I kind of like this color because it's not white, it's like a fleshy color. Now you really do not want to get this color on your lower lashes, so you could do it before if you want to. Maybe I should have. Okay, so I think the eyes are done. Now I'm gonna use the, which one is this? This is Kevin O'Quire Lip Pencil in Divine. It's such a nice color. So I'm just gonna use this to line my lips. Now, if you want to go for slightly plumper lips, I would suggest plumping them that way rather than that way. So I would make it go a little bit lower than your natural lip line underneath. Like here, shade it in into your lip line and make sure that these sections here, you meet your actual lip line. Don't go over your lip line. Okay, lips are done. I really like this lip line. Do you not sometimes use lipsticks and lip liners or any kind of makeup product and then you think, how did I forget about you? Okay, so now I'm gonna use, this is where I'm gonna create that kind of like two-tone kind of lip that I love of hers. This is the Marc Jacobs Liquid Lipstick and it's in 450 Yours to Try. I'm just gonna get my lip brush because I wanna blend this in because it's quite a light color. Now I don't really want to take this all the way out into the lip line, but I do want it blended in. Now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Stunner Lip Paint in Unveil. And this is like that really nice dark brown. Now I'm actually putting a bit of this on the back of my hand and I'm just going to kind of paint this into my lip line with my lip brush. The lip brush I'm using is my Charlotte Tilbury lip brush. It's amazing because it's like a flat square. And I'm just using the tip to kind of darken my lip line. Now I'm gonna just blend this in. So I'm just dragging it in. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I think I want a tiny bit of kind of gloss on this. So I'm using the Kat Von D lip gloss in Blossom and I'm only putting this in the center. There you go, that just makes the lips a little bit more subtle. 
Now I'm using my Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo and I'm going to use the warmer shade because that is so nice and I'm just using my Zoeva 134 brush and I'm just going to apply this to a few areas like the upper parts of the cheekbone. I don't want too much there, I literally just want the tiniest bit. I really shouldn't have put it there because I have this huge spot. Okay, now the nose, I'm gonna use a smaller brush for this. Just the tip, there you go. And then just here. And we're done and after layers and layers of makeup, that is how you do makeup like Kim Kardashian. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you really like that Kim Kardashian look that I created. If you have any questions about this look or my techniques or anything, just let me know in the comments box below and I'll always reply. Also, I've gone out and done a little bit of shopping for you guys. So you can just head into the description box below and that's where you're gonna find all of the products that I actually used in this video. So you just need to click on the links if you wanna get them. Now, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss a video. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.